the best, the body you desire, body weight training versus weight training. What works? Working with weights versus body weight training. What actually works? Both are good if you are consistent. An example for you. So you can engage exactly the same muscle group plus more by using your body weight. If you know anatomy very well, you can engage exactly the same muscle group whether you work out with weights or using body weight. The only difference is that if you're trying to build muscle mass, then of course you need weights and not small weights, you need to progress. 50% of my exercise I use body weight because I don't want to bulk up, I want to keep uh, lean muscle mass uh, and as much as I can get at my genetic. I will give you another example when I see people rather choose dumbbell for this particular exercise for tricep. You can do exactly the same, even more benefit by using body weight. So you can see my triceps are engaged. I find tricep dips are more effective than tricep extension I just show. Another exercise, very popular, and I also use it with my clients, with a dumbbell. This exercise is very good, but I find it it's very painful on the elbows when you put more weights. Tricep dips are the best. If you want, you can add weights. Also, you can do tricep extension on the bar. When I hear excuses, when people say, oh, uh, I cannot lose weight because gym's closed, or I cannot lose weight because I don't have a time uh, to go to the gym. What, what, what was this? You can exercise at home. If you don't have weight, it doesn't matter. Google it. Go on a YouTube. There are so many different type of body weight exercises you can do at home. So by saying you cannot go to the gym because you haven't got weight in the house, that's excuses. And you know it's excuse. I know so many people who exercise at home and they don't have single dumbbell and they exercise regularly. It doesn't matter you have or you haven't got any gym equipment. You can do so many exercise using your body weight. I also heard when people say I need leg press machine uh, to have a nice glutes and perfect legs. No, you don't. No, you don't. You can do lunges. You can take two or three liters of bottled water. Uh, you don't need weights or specific machines to uh, get fantastic legs or bum. There are so many exercises you can do without any weights and this is a probably a weird exercise, you would think, but if you concentrate on the muscle, you will feel it's burning tense. It's really effective. It looks maybe weird, but it's so effective. Plus, change the intensity. So go two, slow down, slow up, and then explosive jumps and my clients know it's burning it's really burning so if you try you will understand what i'm talking about so try that there are so many exercises that you can get the best the body you desire by using your own body weight without any fancy equipment. Try it 
and let me know in the comment below. If you like this video, please press like. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe. I always post videos about exercise, nutrition, and all about the health. If you have any ideas, suggestions for future video, please comment below. I always read your comment and I always reply. Also, you can check my website. I've got a lot of information that you might like. Please have a look. If you have any specific question you want to ask me about health, please email me on the email you see on your screen. I don't like barbell squats. I hate it. I do it, but if I have machine, I would go to use machine. I don't like leg press machine. I like lunges. I like explosive jumps, uh, squats, uh, but using my own body weight. So um, machines are easier. Machines are better for people who have uh, knee injuries. So uh, machines good. If you don't have any of these, if you are not a member of a gym, you don't have any weights, you don't need it. If you have stairs in the house, you can use the stairs uh, to do your exercise. You obviously have floor, <laughs> use the floor, um, chair, bench, whatever you have in the house, you can use. If you don't have any gym equipment in the house and you're not a member of the gym, uh, please comment below and I will make a video especially for you so that you can do these exercises at home. And also, uh, let me know if you've got the stairs. Obviously, you probably have chairs <laughs> because we need one chair. Uh, and if you haven't got, that's fine too. We don't need. So you have the floor. As long as you have a floor, as long as you can stand. And if you cannot even stand, I still can make exercise program for you. If you want uh, exercise that specifically designed for you, please email me on the email you see on your screen. Now you understand all what you said that oh, I'm not a member of the gym, I haven't got this, I haven't got this. This is all excuses. You simply just don't want to do it. That's it. It's not what you haven't got. I didn't have a gym before and I'm not always been a member of a gym. Yes, I worked in the gym, but I not always train in the gym because after training clients uh, four, five, six hours, I would go home and I would do exercises at home and I would have a couple of dumbbells. Normally, I do my exercises in the morning because it's done and your mind is set for the day. Sometimes I train twice a day because I just want to train twice a day and sometimes you feel like wow you want to do a bit of cardio you want to do a bit of this and a bit of weights uh, or stretching stretching are really important how often do you do static stretching I talked about this before some people don't understand the importance of uh, dynamic and static stretching please comment below how often do you do these two stretches remember no more more excuses if you want something you can get it if you're lazy obviously you'll just dream and dream and dream and never get or achieve anything uh, so you have to uh, work hard only a hard work doesn't matter what it is can give you good results I never find excuses if I haven't got something I find alternative uh, if I can do something, I learn about it. And nowadays you have YouTube, you can watch so many videos, you can actually plan your training program yourself. Just, you can do it. You think you can it. Yes, you can do it. Be consistent. Just do it. If you feel like, oh, I haven't got this weight, resistant band, barbell, that machine is busy. Find alternative by using exactly the same muscle group. If you don't know, Google it. Welcome. Google. Google is amazing. And actually, YouTube is amazing. Anything you don't understand, uh, type on YouTube. I want to engage uh, delts. 
delt exercise, tricep exercises, uh, chest exercise. You can, it's just so many you can find. Uh, I see uh, some people say, oh, I can do this. I haven't got this in a house. I haven't got the medicine ball. I can do abs. That's excuse. You don't need a medicine ball to do abs. You just do it. You don't need Swiss ball to do abdominal exercises. You don't need Swiss ball to do uh, mobility training. Find alternative and you can do it. Like everything else you do. If you want something, you get it. But then if something will benefit you and you know it will benefit you, uh, you find excuses that, oh, that's difficult, that no, no. That means you don't want bad enough. You want good arms, work out. Weights, no weights, you want good abs, just do it. You can achieve exactly the same amazing result like your friend who goes to the gym. In fact, you, your body can be much better than your friend who goes sometimes to the gym. And if you train every day or at least four times a week, you will be ahead than the person who is a member of the gym training twice a week. Some people proud that they have lots of books, but what's the point if you don't read them? A lot of people proud that they're a member of the gym, but what's the point? You don't go there. If you need to do something, you do an autopilot. That's how you do it. And you know yourself, once you start training, then you will feel, wow, I feel good. You're glad you did it because you feel amazing. Your day is productive. You feel, wow, you, you have a lot of energy. You want to uh, change the world. You, you have so many ideas. I mean, I've got, when I exercise, I have so many ideas. I have so many plans. My imagination go wild. Exercise, it's amazing. It's amazing. If you haven't realized that, try it. And how do you feel when you don't want to exercise? What do you do? Thank you for watching this video. Look after yourself. Look after your health. Your health is your wealth. And I will see you very, very soon. Bye.